Dalton's law on gas behavior within mixtures states that the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the pressures of each individual gas making up the mixture, each gas acting as if it alone were present and occupied the volume. This means that gases will mix homogeneously, they will share the same temperature and volume, but each individual gas will still maintain its own individual pressure. The pressure of each individual gas in a mixture is called partial pressure. By adding up the partial pressures of each individual gas, we obtain the total pressure exerted by the mixture. Let's first have a look at how to calculate partial pressures within a mix, then we'll be able to understand why this concept is so important to scuba divers. The partial pressure of a gas in a mixture is easily obtained by multiplying the total absolute pressure of the mixture by the percentage of the gas present in the mixture expressed as a decimal number. If you think about it, all you're doing is working out Dalton's law in reverse. Let's take normal air breathed at the surface as a first example. Ignoring trace gases, our mixture will be composed of 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. The partial pressure of nitrogen in this case is equal to the total pressure of our air mixture times the percentage of nitrogen in the mixture expressed as a decimal number. As we are at the surface, the total pressure of the mixture will be equal to one bar. The percentage of nitrogen in air is 79%, which expressed as a decimal number is 0.79. The partial pressure of nitrogen in air at the surface is equal to one bar times 0.79, which is equal to 0.79 bar. Now let's try with a different gas at a different depth. Let's assume we're breathing an enriched air nitrox mixture containing 32% oxygen at a depth of 18 meters. Remember that the ambient pressure in water increases by one bar every 10 meters in depth, starting from one bar at the surface. So in this case, at 18 meters, the total pressure of our nitrox mixture will be equal to 2.8 bar. The 32% oxygen in our mixture can be expressed as a decimal number as 0.32. The partial pressure of the oxygen in our mixture at 18 meters will be equal to 2.8 bar times 0.32, which is equal to 0.90 bar. This calculation is crucial to more advanced divers because the physiological effects of gases depend on their partial pressure. Oxygen, for example, becomes toxic at partial pressures above 1.4 bar. This is not a problem as long as we're breathing regular air within the limits of recreational diving, as the partial pressure of oxygen in air at 40 meters is only 1.05 bar. However, when tech diving beyond recreational depths, or simply when using enriched air mixtures with oxygen percentages higher than 21%, even during recreational dives, the simple calculation would be crucial to avoid undesired physiological effects such as oxygen toxicity.